Depending on what we want to do and what kind of communication method we use, this will determine the protocol we use. A protocol is an agreed set of rules for exchanging data between devices. A protocol might specify how data is formatted, what error checking occurs, if any, exactly what you can do, and the order in which devices communicate. Protocols aren't just for computers. For example, if you walked into a post office and asked for some ice cream, you would break the protocol of what you can do in a post office. TCP IP stands for Transmission Control Protocol over Internet Protocol. It is the rules for communication between two devices over the internet. They each have an important role in almost all uses of the internet. TCP is responsible for breaking the data being sent into smaller data packets and providing data for reassembly and error checking. The IP will ensure the packets have the IP addresses so the data packets can reach their destination. We will learn more about both of these in a future lesson covering the concept of layers. UDP stands for User Datagram Protocol and it is very similar to TCP. In fact, it's used as an alternative to TCP in a number of different applications such as VoIP and online gaming. The difference between UDP and TCP is that UDP doesn't provide the data for reassembly and error checking. This means that a lot more corrupted packets will be accepted by the recipient. However, this also means that UDP can transfer data much faster than TCP. There are a lot of different application protocols as we use different protocols for different applications of the internet. For example, we have a protocol for the transmission of web pages, HTTP, and a protocol for the transmission of emails, SMTP. We'll look through several examples of these now. The Hypertext Transfer Protocol, or HTTP, is used for accessing web pages over the internet. A client machine sends a request message to the server, and the server responds with a response message. The response message may contain data of many different forms. The most popular form is text data formatted using Hypertext Markup Language, or HTML, which is what web pages are made of. HTTPS is a form of HTTP where the data being sent and received is encrypted with a public key encryption algorithm. HTTPS is used when sending sensitive data over the internet, such as our credit card details when purchasing from an online shop. You can tell when you're using HTTP or HTTPS because the address bar will either say HTTP or HTTPS before the website address. Also, when using HTTPS, a small padlock is usually displayed next to the address bar. The File Transfer Protocol, or FTP, enables files on one computer to be copied to another. You can also rename, move and delete files. We usually use FTP through the use of an FTP client. This is a software program that allows us to connect to an FTP server and will issue the FTP commands to perform actions like uploading or downloading. Most commonly, we see this used for uploading websites to a web server so that people can access it over the internet. The Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, or SMTP, is used by email clients to send emails. It is a relatively simple text-based protocol where one or more recipients of a message are specified in the to field of an email, you can attach any files, specify any CC or BCC, and then the email can be sent. The SMTP protocol will transmit your email to your SMTP server. The SMTP server then takes care of delivering the mail to the recipient's mail server. The post office protocol, or POP3, is used to retrieve emails from the inbox on a remote mail server. When an email is sent to you, it will be stored in your incoming mail server. It will wait in that mail server until the user connects to it, such as by opening their email client software and requests the email using POP3. The emails will then be downloaded to your device and removed from the mail server. The Internet Message Access Protocol, or IMAP, is an alternative to using POP3 for retrieving your emails. The main difference between IMAP and POP3 is that when you download your emails from the mail server using IMAP, they're not removed from the mail server. This means you can connect to your mail server from another device and still be able to access all of your emails. In fact, with IMAP, your email client and mail server are synced, 
So if you do read, move or delete an email in your email client, this will then happen on the server and in turn will be updated on any other email clients you use to access your emails. So TCP IP defines the rules for communication between two devices over the internet. UDP is an alternative to TCP that is faster but doesn't provide data for reassembly and error checking. HTTP is used to access web pages written in HTML. HTTPS is used to securely transfer data across the internet. FTP is used to copy files from one device to another. SMTP is used to send emails. POP3 is used to read emails and download them from the server. IMAP is used to read emails and leave them on the server so you can see your inbox from multiple devices.